Hi y'all folks, this is Max from HTCEvoHacks.com and uh, HighOnAndroid.com and today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu um, on your Windows computer um, using VirtualBox. This is uh, mainly for people who don't know how to do it um, in case they're going to downgrade from HBoot 1.50 to HBoot 1.40 um, also, this is a universal guide on how to install Ubuntu running as a VMware, uh, which can be very useful. So go download the two files, the VirtualBox, this one. I'll have links um, and also Ubuntu 11.10. Um, you can also download the latest version if it, there's a newer, but as of this video, that is the newest one. So I'm going to first install uh, VirtualBox. So go ahead and run the VirtualBox installation program, um, and you just can just click next, click next, and uh, this will um, install your install the VirtualBox on your computer. So I'm gonna go do this real quick, um, and I'll be back when VirtualBox is done installing. All right, folks. So installation is done. I'm going to start Oracle VM VirtualBox and we're going to go install Ubuntu um, as a uh, you'll get this and uh, actually have two virtual mo uh, machines already. To install new Ubuntu simply hit new um, next and then choose um, Linux and Ubuntu for the system and let's say my new Ubuntu right Click next. Uh, memory size, you can set it. I'm just gonna set it at two gigabytes. Um, you can set it for 520. It doesn't matter. And uh, I'm gonna use uh, create new hard disk. All right. And uh, I'm gonna hit next. And it's gonna ask you um, virtual box disk image. Um, this is fine. Um, you can choose dynamic or fixed size. I'm going to choose dynamic and size of uh, virtual disk in megabytes. I'm going to actually put it put it in my um, directory under VM, so it's easier for me to get there. There you go. And it'll create a file. This is your virtual box. You can actually copy it over and use it somewhere else later on too. Uh, and I'm just going to set it to eight gigabytes. That's fine. Create, um, create, and basically this is done here. Um, and then I think hit start button here. Is that recording? Yes. And you get um, this first time wizard thing. Um, hit next. And uh, for the source, you're gonna uh, select the file you downloaded, um, the ISO file I pointed out earlier. Uh, let me see here. Oh no, I put it. I put it here. There we go. So I'm gonna select the ISO file here, the Ubuntu 11.0 that you downloaded earlier, and this will basically boot the ISO as a CD drive, and you can install Ubuntu as a virtual machine start and it's going to start the virtual machine um, just say OK and it will boot and we can install the Ubuntu onto our virtual disk here and uh, we should be done here and this way you don't need a separate Ubuntu computer uh, when you downgrade. That's the main reason I made it for, but you can do this just to have Ubuntu running as a VM, which is cool. I used to have a um, fully Ubuntu machine, or actually Linux machine, and I would run VMware and run Windows for, for quite a while, for like a whole year. It worked, worked out pretty well, um, but you know, now I'm doing the opposite. I also have a Ubuntu do but on most of my computers. Ubuntu is great. Um, just running it, um, not on virtual machine, if you run it on straight um, your computer, you can hack 
um, crack web uh, keys. It's kind of cool. Um, it's illegal, but it's fun to do. Fun to crack your own Wi-Fi. So this is gonna run, and just go through the steps, and it should install it. And uh, once you've got this running, this pretty much it, I guess. Alright, so I'll be back when this completes loading. So when you see this uh, screen, do install Ubuntu. And then it will install it in the virtual drive you just made. There we go. And I'm installing virtual machine. Alright, and uh, just click continue. This is fine. Um, Alright, let's hit continue. And uh, erase disk and install Ubuntu, that's fine. It's going to actually use your virtual disk, so not erasing anything. Install now. And this will install your Ubuntu. It should take, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, um, depending on how fast your computer is. And uh, I'll be back when this is done. Yes. And here you can set um, your name, computer name, username, password. Make sure you remember it. Uh, I'm going to do that. Oh, both so it's done. Um, restart now. And also, let me give you a sneak preview of what's coming. KoreanNoodles.net. Oh, yeah. It's so good. And uh, just let it restart. And that's how you install Ubuntu Linux. On, as a VMware or very VM virtual machine. So I'll be back when this reboots. Oh yeah, this is so good. Mm. 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 Hi folks, so I've got Ubuntu running here and uh, you can actually, let me see, where's the terminal? Um, there we go. So Ubuntu is running and let's go to dash home here. How does it work? Oh, there we go. You can type uh, terminal and open up a terminal. And uh, let me see. Um, try to do sudo minus i. And then enter your password um, earlier you entered. I got cut off there. Once you got this step, um, you're all ready to go. So go, um, you're all ready to go. That's how you install uh, Ubuntu on your virtual, a uh, VM virtual box. And this is all free software, all open source. And uh, I'm gonna leave that alone. And uh, that's how you install it. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that um, like button here. Um, favorite it and also sh um, subscribe to my channel if you have thanks and uh, also share it with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus and uh, I'm gonna get real high on Android now see y'all later oh one last thing I, for I forgot to mention is how do sh how do you copy files into this new virtual machine you can go to um, this share folders under devices and uh, hit OK and uh, you'll have to have actually the guest thing installed. So first what you'll do is um, do install guest additions there. And this will pop up a um, this window and uh, say OK. And um, automatically run. Um, do it. And this will install the virtual box. Put your password here. And it'll install the virtual box so you can, um, there you go. You can actually share files between your Windows system and the virtual machine. Um, so I usually set a folder in my Windows um, hard disk that I can put files there in my Windows and 
you can easily access it in your Ubuntu. So once this is done, we um, should be all good to go. So I'll be back when this is done. Hey folks, so once that's done, um, you're all ready to go. Let's go share a folder. Go to share, share folders, um, add a share folder, and you can choose, uh, show you, this will show you your uh, Windows um, directory. I usually choose, uh, make a directory called, um, I call it VM, and then I just share that. That way, anytime I need a file uh, to use in Ubuntu, I'll just do that. Um, just access VM. Name that VM. VM, uh, you can choose auto mount, hit OK, and click OK. And then now you can uh, open up a terminal, double check it, and uh, if you type DF, it will show you um, it's mounted or not. I don't think it's mounted. Um, hold on a second. Do a sudo minus i. Enter your password. And uh, do a df again. Do uh, cd slash media like that. ls. Um, it might not just be mounted. So let's go mount it real quick. You can just uh, just reboot it. Um, just type reboot, or you can reboot using the system command, and it should automatically actually mount it. I think so. That's the easier method. There's also manually mounted, but reboot it. I'll be back. How right, folks, so it reboot it. Um, let me open up a terminal and check it again here. Ah, yeah, there's a little bit of lag. Terminal and let's do a DF. DF shows all the file systems that's mounted. Um, so you can see that now there's media SFVM. So if I go to slash media slash SF underscore VM, um, actually I need root permissions. So what we can do is do a sudo minus I to give you root permission. Next, um, try to get into that folder media SFVM. So this is actually my Windows um, VM folder, my C drive. So that's how you set it up for uh, sharing uh, files, you know, and that's how you do it. Anyway, I just wanted to add that um, so you know how to copy, share files between your new virtual machine and Windows, which is pretty much important. All right, see y'all later.